Are you ready for the chaos of another Trump presidency with all that goes with it? Oh, I don't <laughs> think he's likely to win, fortunately. Um, but You're my... not? See, I, I just think he is. If he wins the nomination, it seems likely, he's up against basically a man who looks like a corpse. I mean, Joe Biden is so unpopular. His approval ratings are completely tanking. He's 81 going on 1,000. Why wouldn't Trump be able to beat him? Well, Biden is a stable corpse and a corpse we know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but my, my sense of the upcoming election, assuming that it will be Trump versus Biden, is mm. that it's sort of like walking into a restaurant and the menu will have two options on it. One is a thin bowl of gruel that you've mm. already eaten mm. half of. And the other is a flaming hot Cheeto that someone left under a couch in 2014. <laughs> and, uh, you know, personally, I, you know, the gruel would at least be a little bit nourishing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's switch gears, uh, cat number one. Uh, the Emmys. What struck me watching it, I've watched the Globes, the Emmys and the Critics' Choice, almost zero virtue signalling or political chat. It's almost like they've all suddenly got the, the sort of woke bashing memo that people don't want to hear this. What's going on? Yeah, I think especially people don't want to hear it from Hollywood celebrities because yeah. essentially what it always felt like to me and what it felt like, I think, to a lot of people is not only do I have more money than you and not only am I better looking than you and not only do I have all these things you don't have, I'm a better person than you too. Yes. And I'm going to tell you how bad you are. And it's just so... It, it just is so gross, and especially with so many people struggling, they don't want to hear that. Nobody mm. wants to hear that. People want to watch TV to just kind of tune out and have fun. Do you agree, Kat? I mean, what's happened? Why have they stopped yapping at us all? I think people are starting to get kind of tired of being scolded by the Hollywood elite. I think Kat's right about that. Mm. Um, what I'm interested to see, I think the real sign of the vibe shift will be what happens at the Oscars. I agree. It's been yeah. very political for the past several years. Um, you know, if that is where they kind of change course, I think that will signal that we're done with this particular moment. It's also mm -hmm. quite telling to me that the only massive news story that none of them have felt compelled to speak out about is the Israel-Hamas war. Almost like they're all too terrified to stick their head over any parapet with that war. I've been struck by that. None of them have broken ranks whatsoever. It'd be interesting if they do at the Oscars. Um, let's turn to two of my favourite people. <laughs> uh, Harry and Meghan. <laughs> so a new book, a very authoritative book by a guy called Robert Harbin. He's the inside track from the Royals. They've all uh, collaborated with this book uh, about the, uh, the late Queen in particular. That she was far from approving... Harry and Meghan saying they could call their daughter Lilibet, which was her private nick nickname given to her by Prince Philip and used by a tiny number of the family. She was furious and really upset. Another whopper from the Sussex whopper machine. And it's got to be so frustrating because one of my favorite things about my family, the people in my family, is I know I can tell them anything and they're, they're going to not, even if we're fighting, mm. they're not going to share that, right? Yes. They took family secrets and exposed everything. They don't ha seem to have any relationship with their family other than as a cash cow. Is how and, it was and, quickly, and they lied about it, I mean, repeatedly. Most of his stuff seems to be untrue. Yeah, but, I mean, this is great for them because the only time that they're ever in the news and the best thing for them at this point yes. is to be feuding with the Queen, even now that she's dead. Yeah. So it's true. They're going to keep it going as long cats, as Cats, we run out of time. I love this, the two cats. This I was great. Uh, let's do it again. Thank you very, very much indeed.